Hey you guys, it's Arlene. Happy Saturday. I'm actually here today to share a haul video with you guys. I know that we've all been crazy hauling because of all these goodies that we got at Michael's. The plain wood boxes, the balsa boxes are back at Michael's. The Recollections was 50% off. Michael's is restocking with a whole bunch of Kane Company goodies. It's just awesome. Um, I think I'm over that phase just for a little bit because as you guys know winter CHA is coming out and Tim Holt is coming out with a whole bunch of new stuff so I'm so excited about that and so I'm kind of holding my my debit card till then but I'll share some of the goodies that I got with you guys um, just in case you're you know interested I just I really like to share where I get my stuff because typically I get some really good deals and the products that I share with you I just really love and it's just really just something that I want to share with you guys. So let me go ahead and get started because I have a lot of things to share with you guys. I'm not going to share any of the recollection stuff that I got with you guys because I think you guys have all seen the videos mm -hmm. on that. I placed an order at the greeting got farm. two sets. And the first set right here, this is called the Miss Anya Lounge. Really cute. It's been out for a little bit, um, but I've been wanting it. It's really cute. I love the taller Anya stamps. They're so cute and they're so fun to paper piece as well. So I got that. And then I got this one. I couldn't resist for Valentine's Day. This one is called the Naughty or Nice. And this is part of the Cheeky Collection. So cute. I love the little angel girl. And then here's the little devil. Let me start off with my um, MFT um, haul. I wanted to share a few things that I got with you guys. Um, as you know, I'm a designer for MFT. And there's just so such super fun projects uh, products on their site that I wanted to share some of them with on you. On January 4th was the latest release, and a whole bunch of fun goodies were released um, for January, including the rosette dies. And I got the quarter inch, and I also got the three-eighths of an inch. What I really love about these dies, you guys, is they're six inches um, long, each of them. And to make a full rosette, you actually have to die cut twice. But the cool thing about this is if you don't have one of those long Sizzix platforms, you don't need one. You can just use your normal cutting plates and you don't have to buy any additional accessories um, to be able to use this die, which is really cool. Because as you know, with the um, with the longer sizzlets, you have to buy a spe special platform as well as special cutting pads and then it can start to add up. So um, that's what's really cool about this. What I have has been out for a while and this is um, basically the scallop, the scallop die. And it's really, really cute. What I like about it is it already pre-cuts the scallop. And you can easily use this in your mini albums as well as on cards or projects where you can basically, like, you know, outline. And here's another thing I'm going to show you. But you can just basically have the scallops pop up from behind, which is really cool. I love this. And there's so many different things that you can do with this, too. And you can actually flip-flop it this way. And, I don't know, lots of possibilities there. And then I got the button quartet. I've been really wanting this one. I think this is so cute. And the Dynamics, you guys, as you know, runs through several die cutting systems. If you go to mftstamps.com, you'll see the different types of sandwiches that you would need to use on various cutting systems. So check it out. If you have a big shot and cuddle bug, it'll work. The next one that I got um, was is called the Dynamics Polka Dot Greetings Die and Stamp Set Duo, which is really cool because it comes with not only the clear stamp set, but it also comes with the die. Now, for those of you who haven't owned MFT stamps before, um, they're really great quality stamps. And it's funny because uh, <laughs> I was comparing the smell of these stamps because I can smell, you know, I don't know. Okay, guys, we're talking about smells here. Okay, on Rena's channel, you guys are talking about smelling ATG guns and <laughs> smelling hot glue or I don't know, whatever. But yeah, the clear stamp smell, okay, there's a certain smell to them. They smell just like my Tim Holtz clear stamps. So I don't know if you guys um, own clear uh, Tim Holtz clear stamps, but they, they smell very similar. But they're very good quality stamps. Love them. And then this is basically the die that comes with it. So you can die cut everything, stamp, all comes together. That's what I really love about that. And I'm really excited about this. This was just released in... Um, on the January release and this is called the Dynamics Layered Label Die and I really love it because it's actually it actually comes with three dies and they all layer on top of each other so basically this is the base and then you when you cut this out you could put this here and then that there and put a sentiment or you can put this here and that there and then put a sentiment or if you guys do stamped images like greeting farm images or even the MFT images you can use this as a frame for the image um, you can have this, you know, pop out of the bottom of your um, picture. You could just put a little sentiment down there. I mean, there's so many possibilities. And then you can just use this alone as a ticket, ticket die. 
So anyways, lots of possibilities. So those are the dies that I picked up recently. I also picked up some of their cardstock. And you guys, this stuff is so luscious. I love it. And I got three colors. And you know, as you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. So I got this red color and I already opened it up. This is called the Red Hot. Really nice. And I opened it up because I wanted to show you guys just how thick. You guys can hear that. It's really thick, nice, smooth, good for stamping cardstock. I love it. And then I got the bubble gum color, and then I got hot fudge, which is a really dark, dark brown. I love it. And then black licorice, which is just black. I forgot to also show you guys these things. And what these are called are um, perfect panels. And there's a total of, I believe there's 25 sheets in each pack, and they're all cut at four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half, which is standard card size. It's become my favorite paper for Copic coloring. It's a really nice heavyweight cardstock and it's super smooth. Let me just take out one. It is just so super smooth. And look at, if you guys can hear that, it's almost the same, um, similar thickness as Gina K. So um, anyways, check out um, mftstamps.com and um, in the cardstock section. But these things are awesome, love it. Really good, it blends really good as well. From Carlene over at Pink Scrapper's Boutique. Hey Carlene, didn't open it yet though because I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, believe it or not, this is my first time shopping with Carlene, but it's definitely not gonna be my last. She is so awesome, you guys. If you guys have, haven't have shopped over at Pink Scrapper Boutique, go. And she does custom orders, you guys. So if there's anything in the market, in the scrapbooking market that you're looking for, ask Carlene because she can totally figure out a way to get it for you. She's awesome. So, um, and it was so funny. That, let me tell you guys a story. Um, I placed an order with her and then she did a video and then I ended up having to e amend my um, order to add a few items from what she did her video on. So when I amended my order, I sent her a message and I said, Carlene, please don't make another video <laughs> until I get my, <laughs> until you, sh until I get my order. Because every time I watch her store haul videos, I'm like, oh my god, I need to be careful. So anyways, um, let me show you guys what I got. So originally what I had contacted her for were the Donna, Donna Salazar um, Spellbinder Nest Abilities and Coordinating Stamps. And I'm so excited about this, you guys, because, oh my god, these are just so amazing. And I don't have these Nest Abilities yet, and I've been totally, like, adding to my Nest Abilities collection. It's insane. But I got this um, die, really, really cute, and it comes with the coordinating stamp, which is this one here. So basically you stamp your image and you surround the die with your image and just die cut it through your Big Shot or Cuddle Bug, whatever you have. And look at how many dies you get, it's crazy. So those two coordinate, which is really, really nice. And then I got this one. And I'm sorry, I should probably tell you what it is. This one is called, um, memories okay and then here's this die cut and here's the matching stamp with that and this stamp is called always remember really really cute i just love how it coordinates it just makes life so much easier and i wish i had ordered this during christmas but you can still use this um, for other occasions it's because it's really this is called um heirloom ornament heirloom ornament sorry but so cute, you guys. And look at how many, I think it's like, this one comes with five dies in it. Perfect. And then Carlene had um, messaged me and told me that they no longer have the stamp available for the dies for this one. But she did refer me to, and this is why she is so awesome, you guys. She did some research for me, and she referred me to a site that actually had the stamp. So I was able to get it. So thank you so much, Carlene. I appreciate it. Like I said, best service ever. So, um, but I did tell her to keep the nest abilities in there and that I would go ahead and, and search for the stamp on the website she gave me. Um, so I got that and then, oh, she sent me a little thank you. Oh, I don't even own any of these things. This is the Lavish Trimmings by Tim Holtz. Thank you so much, Carlene. Oh my gosh, I should be sending you something for like doing this for me. And um, she sent me just a little card here. And she says, thank you so much for your order. Be sure to check back every week. Just kidding. Hugs, Carlene. <laughs> like I said, we were joking around. So this was my original order. And then um, I messaged her and I said, I've been trying to find the Tim Holtz tag, um, movers and shapers, the tags and, and um, book plates. And she's like, I have it in stock. I'm like, no way. And so 
I ordered it from her and I'm so excited. I, you know, a lot of people have this already, but I'm a little behind on the, um, the movers and shapers. So I got that and then she did her video and she did an, an example of how to work the movers and shapers in the ornate, ornate die or the ornate, um, movers and shapers die. And she showed this on her video and I had to have it because of Valentine's. And so this is basically the movers and shapers, um, piece and it just goes it it's magnetic so you just stick it right in the center of your ornate um, either your ornate or um, baroque die and it basically die cuts the word love right in the center of it so it's really cool and so and so because um, um, because Carlene didn't have the stamp for this she referred me to another website and I picked it up and here's the coordinating stamp and the website that I went to is called Happy Scrap and Scoop, uh, Scrapbooking, and this is their information. Okay, and then while I was there, I saw this, and so I ordered this, and this is called the Rosy Reflection. So really cute, and then of course you have to get the coordinating spell binders. So I got this one, and it just it goes perfectly with the stamp, as you can see. Okay, and then. While I was on the website too, I also picked up the oval scallops to go with my ovals. So this basically can outline the oval spell binders that I have. So that's my order. And then there's just one thing that I want to show you guys before I end this. You guys, how I store all of those recollections goodies that I purchased this past week during the sale. And they had these boxes on sale too. And I just think, I thought they were so adorable. I had to get it. And basically, it's like a suitcase. It is so cute, you guys. And these were like, I think they were either half or 40% off. I can't remember. But as you can tell, it's a pretty good size. It covers up my whole Stampin' Up! Um, mat. Um, very pretty. It's got the birds. And over here, it's got the bird with the bird cage. It's got like, um, it's got writing on it. And I just love the closure. You guys can see that. See the closure? And it's got the little handle here. So it's perfect. And let me just open it up without bopping the camera. Um, but as you can see, you can just open it up and you can put all of your goodies in here. And plus it's got this extra space so you can put stuff on top of stuff, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, see, that's how I store all of the goodies that um, we got at Recollections and some of the other little things. I found these at Michael's too. I love these, they're so cute. Have a great weekend, bye.